hello welcome to tutorial for your channel in this video i will show you how you can solve this error a network related or instance specific error occur while establishing a connection to sql server the server was not found or was not accessible verify that the instance name is correct and the sql server is configured to allow remote connection so this error is related to connection to database has its place and it gives us two solutions. First, to verify that instant name is correct and the SQL server is configured to allow remote connection. So we already connected to SQL server. If you are unable to connect to your SQL server, I have already solved that error. This link will be in the description. So we are already connected to our SQL server. That means there is no problem in our SQL server. There is a problem in our instance name which you will find in your project web config file scroll down till you find connection tag then scroll right till you find data source here you will add the name of your sql server which you will find in your sql connect database engine this is the server name then your database name and then your sql server security if it is window authentication in the drop down then it will be integrated security true but if you don't understand all of this thing then i will show you how you can generate this line of code according to your sql server go to view and select server explorer this is the server explorer window from here click on this connect to database icon then this window will open here you will have add server name then we have authentication if you have sql server authentication then you can select that and put your password but i have window authentication then select your database name from the drop down and click on this test connection so you can see it says we are connected and then you click on this advanced button here you will find your connection string copy it and go back to a web config file and navigate to our data source and replace it by this connection string now save it and rerun your project and your error will be gone all right well this was just a really quick tutorial if you think this video was helpful to you in any way please give this video a like if you want to see future videos like this hit the subscribe button that's it for this video i will see you in the next video till then take care have a nice day